Let's have a look at publishing and how we can uh, export this to the rest of the world if you like. So if we go up to the file menu we've got publish settings and publish. Um, I'm not going to go through the publish settings because it's a bit too deep um, here and we're only touching the basics. So let's click on publish. Everything has been left um, to default. Okay. Um, more often than not, we're going to publish as Flash, SWF. We're going to uh, call the project something. I'll just give that a capital. Uh, in fact, I'm going to call that folders. Folders. Okay. Uh, I'm going to publish it to here, decaptivate projects. I can browse to where I want to save it. Let's have a look at the bottom bit here. Okay, zip files. That would be if you were using a learning management system. Full screen, you can opt for the Captivate to play full screen. You can do that. Um, you can export it to HTML so it'll build a web page for you. You can export it to a PDF. If you click on that one, don't forget the people to view it have got to have um, Acrobat Reader version 9. Okay, It won't play in any version below 9. If you want to put it on a CD, you can generate an auto run. So when you put the CD in the player, it'll play. Flash player version. Well, the current version at the moment is 10, so I've left that on that. Project information over here. This is the size of your Captivate project. How many slides? Slides with audio. We haven't got any audio. Blah, 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 etc., etc. So I'd leave that all as um, default. The only thing you can do if you want to is you can make this audio quality, if you had audio, we haven't in this slide, a little bit less. So if I click on that, I can actually make it FM. So it's slightly um, less quality, but you probably wouldn't notice if you were just having a voiceover. So I normally do that. Um, wouldn't bother with the advanced options here. But let's have a look at some of the other things we can do here. So if you've got Acrobat Connect Pro, that would be your option to publish it to that server. The media button here, you can save it as an executable, don't usually do that, but you can save it as video. So this would make your um, project non-interactive, so people would just have to view it, um, but that's another way of delivering it. If you didn't want people to interact with your Captivate project, you could probably save it as a video, and it might be a, a, a larger file size. Email, you can email it to somebody. FTP, that would be to upload it to your uh, website. And print, you can save it as um, a Word document with the slide notes. So you could use this as handouts. Most of the options over here are self-explanatory. In any case, I'm going to save it as a flash, call it folders, and click publish. Once that's published, it should give me a preview. It's warning again there that you need Acrobat version 9 to look at the PDF. Do you wish to view the output? If you say yes, Flash gives you a bit of a warning. And if I bring the web page in over here, you can see now here is my Captivate presentation.